So welcome back after the crash. Uh, normally, I should have uh, recorded it again the previous part, but uh, I wanted you. I kept uh, the crash. Uh, so you see what's the problem with point cloud they are heavy i have 64 gigabyte of last generation ram and uh, a six core processor i7 uh, i mean it's not uh, an average computer but still it crashes depending how on uh, how detailed you want the conversions so um i'm trying to make it so that it works on all the plat on all the software you're gonna use uh, we're gonna use for the um, for the for the workflow uh, again um, I'm using a point cloud coming from a laser scan uh, and uh, I will use it as reference in blender to build game assets for a racing game uh, the part uh, of the modeling uh, with, uh, in Blender will be really short here uh, because I um, I saw that many people don't know how to work first to handle a point cloud second how to import in an efficient way to Blender and um, voila you have millions of points that might be used as uh, hooks to model in Blender but you have to make arrive 26 million the point cloud was 26 million point at the beginning now we are a lot less we are in the order of 1 million or less that's a good um, a good amount to have enough detail and uh, to make blender run smooth even with 8 to 16 gigabyte of memory so uh, of RAM memory because that is important the processor and the RAM memory because it um, it kind of um, uh, everything gets stuck really easily working with point cloud uh, so uh, here we are we had the down sampled um, cloud uh, and now uh, we are ready to export uh, to export from from cloud compare it's really easy you just have to select select you see that you have two uh, things here uh, this is the general every object you produce you export you have one new folder the f it keeps so uh, it keeps the um, the cloud before now sampling but it hide when you down sample with the plugin and then it creates the new one and it's visible so you select the new one here and you save as dxf or better PLY PLY it's a perfectly compatible with blender and uh, we call it uh, reduce point cloud uh, I have already some export here as you see this one is one gigabyte is the not down sample um, file so you see it's really hard already if you make blender uh, load an external object of one gigabyte and more you wait at least 10 minutes before it start to work then if you by mistake go in edit mode on this thing you can you can uh, uh, wait like 40 minutes that uh, blender stop to crash because the, the overflow of data is enormous so we have this reduce point cloud we save in a folder uh, blender has really issue to read uh, ashi export so you go for binary of uh, both for F fbx every format that you want to export and then import to blender is better in binary so uh, here we are here we are in the, we go in the new folder and reduce point cloud is 30 megabytes it's really 100 times smaller than the other then we open blender i'm open i'm working with blender 2.79 but it's for every version of blender is the same you can go to 2.8 uh, any uh, so uh, you you go to import as ply as you see and now you go to your folder and uh, a racing game 
a scene new folder release point cloud you import already 20 12 meg uh, megabyte it was long as you see uh, there is a point but where is the point cloud uh, if you go up and you see uh, there is an object is not sometimes it import only the pivot point and here give uh, zero verticals in this case you know that something went wrong but here no here it's actually visible so where it is L the coordinate um, conversion from point cloud uh, from cloud comparing any point cloud might be tricky so what uh, uh, if you go to edit mode of one of the object in this case I have one it appears Voila, the coordinate. Uh, and uh, as you see, uh, we have it's like five million meters away. How do you how do you center this? You select everything, twelve uh, two time a, and you push on zero, zero. As you see, it doesn't it doesn't point uh, put to zero instantly because there are so many so many points and so big distance that um, Blender makes some mistake, literally some mistake in, uh, in calculating because the position of a set of point is the average of the position of all. And if you have to calculate really fast uh, the position to have it uh, real time, the information, well, uh, you have to approximate something. And uh, of course, uh, so it's not really precise because it's in real time but as you see, can see I selected many time here and I, uh, and I and I wrote literally zero okay zero okay zero okay and finally it will bring you at the center so this is a down sampled uh, image uh, we have 300 uh, 300 thousand point instead of uh, some million and here you can see the of to draw the line that we saw in the first part of the tutorial that means that it kept uh, the, the cloud kept enough detail even if it's not super visible uh, it kept enough detail to allow to model in a pre pretty precise way now what do we have here we have um the the part of the seats which is not for the simulation and we don't need it to be really super precise and uh physically precise let's call let's call it like this so we can separate this part and uh it's it might be tricky uh so we better I normally do like this I select the part that I don't want to be part of me of my of my mesh if I want to select I I leave a bit of tolerance that I mean I mean uh, if it's this part uh, which is interesting so when I cut the other one I cut a bit less or I can do also like this um, I select a bit more, I double with Shift D and separate selection P. Now I take this and I put in another level because I'm working with now the point cloud. So and then I enter again, I select this part leaving a bit of tolerance now on the interesting part so I'm sure that I didn't cut anything vital and interesting the point cloud and I delete. This is to make even the workflow even faster. Now I tried several ways uh, to model on this. I tried even to to select all the point a point and uh, push F to make a face which should work uh, and um, and then uh, control three to tri triangulate. It might work as like for example now I select few verticals. It works. Control T triangulate. As you see, it created a mesh. Now let's try on this. 
that you have you see many uh, layer so the face will be really weird let's deselect this here you have a super weird face and uh, and as you can see uh, blender try to make it n not manifold uh, that means that it's not overlapping and things like this but it doesn't really work uh, because you see then you have to go to manually and okay for a few points is okay but look how many it's really hard it's really let's say impossible so I stopped the tutorial at the moment um, and uh, in the next part we will see how to easily model something pretty accurate on this point cloud.